Hello everyone and welcome to this video where I want to talk about bombers in War Thunder. What you're seeing here is a clip out of Cliffs of Dover where I am fighting with a Spitfire against one Thingle bomber. And as you will see it is quite a different approach as it is as it would be in War Thunder. Now, I especially want to talk about the bombers in uh, the simulation mod, not so much uh, in the realistic uh, mode. And uh, I don't uh, really care about the arcade mode either. So, um, we're going to have a look first at how you would down a bomber, a single bomber in Cliffs of Dover, as you can see here. Small bursts, and then I'm trying to get away from it. He hit me a few times but didn't, uh, didn't took any damage really. So okay, so I you can you can just watch the clip and I also want to talk about the historical facts about bombers in World War Two. Now as you may know bombers were mostly escorted into battles, right? So they especially if they were daylight bombing. Daylight bombing, they had to be escorted, otherwise they were shot to pieces. Um, and the one uh, once uh, that happened was in uh, 1940 where German bombers um, without much escort attacked the um, eastern the northeastern of England, and uh, they were shot by the RAF fighters pretty easily. So the fact is that in War Thunder, it's just it's just not at the moment. Bombers don't make any sense, especially in simulation mode. The first thing they don't have cockpits, so that's a problem because they have a much better view. If you're fighting with a bomber, you have a, a 360 view all the time, and uh, with the fighters, you of course um, only limited to your cockpit view. So um, that's a large advantage, especially in simulation mode, where you need to have clear view, because enemies they they don't don't get spotted automatically. You need to spot them by yourself. Right. That's the first thing. The second thing is. Bombers, as you can see here in Cliffs of Dover, it's actually I'm playing with the community patches, and it, those bombers they act really naturally and realistic. This bomber, he is trying to get away, he's he's climbing and he's declimbing sometimes, but as you can see, he's not able to maneuver, to to perform maneuvers such as a, such as a dogfighter would. Now that's not the case in War Thunder. In War Thunder, you can pretty much uh, pretty much especially in simulation as you will see later on I will show you the clip um, those bombers they can fight as they were dogfighters and that's a problem because first of all they have very large caliber guns which uh, shot you to pieces easily and the problem is also they are not limited to their front guns they can always shoot with the secondary guns and with the um, what do you call it uh, backseat gunners and so on and so on. So they're just so much over the top right now. The other thing, which is probably the most ridiculous one, is that a normal fighter can take on a bomber. Now you may say. Yeah, of course he can't because a bomber has so much is such a huge one and it's hard to to uh, to fight bombers. Now you may cor you may be correct in uh, in some parts because it's true. If you're not um, hitting the right parts of a bomber, he can take a lot of damage and he won't care. But and. Uh, that's also the case in Cliffs of Dover. You can 
pretty much shoot all your magazines into one single bomber and he may not be downed but what I'm trying to do here as you can see is try to hit the engines right so I'm trying to hit the engines with my gun and there we go as you also can see my tactic is not to stay straight behind the bomber because then the backseat gunner would have an easy job so I try to um, always fly in circles and go f go um, behind him again for another approach and so on so that's that's really essentially for me that if you hit the right parts of a bomber a bomber can be downed pretty easily sometimes right in this case here I I have um, I have some clips of Cliffs of Dover where I'm where down the enemy much faster but I, I thought I, I'm going to be fair and I'm going to show you a clip where it took me pretty long actually to down this bomber and my targeting is also not the best here so I did a few mistakes uh, sometimes I shoot uh, too early sometimes I shoot over the top but uh, most of the time I'm pretty accurate. I think about 20% of my bullets hit, which is a pretty good result uh, considering yeah, considering that it's really hard in Cliffs of Dover to target um, enemies. Because of course you also, also need to get the angle right. Here you can see the engine is blown out, the enemy uh, is going down slowly and by this time I know that uh, there is no way he can uh, he can survive now I know that he's not going home so I stop shooting I have still bullets in my magazine but uh, I just stop shooting and I watching him going down Here he is, he is down now. Alright. Okay, so here we are in Wall Sunday now. And uh, I'm sorry for the camera sometimes, I'm not used to handle the camera here. Here's my um, friend, my wingman. And down there, that's my plane. And. Um, so yeah, uh, now you will see some uh, action going on in that battle. It was only once, uh, I mean I have uh, seen it before but this one was really crazy because the enemy team had a lot of I think 3 or even 4 B-25s and as you will see they are very 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 hard to, to get along with. So, Here's our first contact. Uh, my wingman is going in, and uh, as you can see, two contacts. One of them is the B25, and uh, the B25 was just pursuing a friendly of us. I think, not quite sure. Maybe that is another plane. Could be. I'm sorry. Not so much used to uh, to the different planes yet. Alright, so um, basically that plane uh, tried to pursue me at that point. He tried to turn into me. As you can see here, he actually tried to f um, confront me frontal here. And I uh, haven't seen him. So. Here I fire a few shots because I was so surprised, but I think I missed. And he's firing back, and I think he hit me there, also. But uh, at that point I have no s uh, sincere uh, sincere damage. Now I have sincere damage. As you can see, the burst just hit me, and. Um, 
at that point I think my engine is already damaged so um, later on you will see that my engine is going out now I'm pursuing a Russian plane here and uh, because I don't even try to, to confront the bombers because there is no need I can't there's no way my um, my machine guns can even uh, scratch them and not even my cannons I mean I could maybe take a bit of damage to it but why would I want to do that to just sacrifice myself the only way to really kill them at the moment is to fly right into them so there you go alright here is the first kill from uh, our team, the first score our team has. And I'm really sorry for the sometimes really weird angles. Here again, I'm pursuing it. As you can see, above me is again this fucking bomber shooting at me with his back MGs and again hitting me. And uh, that's just a problem. They're also so accurate. I don't even know, but those backseat gunners are really, really accurate. It's crazy. Alright, uh, still basically trying to find a good spot. Really bad. Finding a good angle here, sorry. That is my friendly. Oh, here. As you can see, the right corner. Alright, here's another clip um, showing the bomber dogfighting one of our planes. And with dogfighting, I mean dogfighting. As you can see, he's diving after him. He's not. He's he's really dogfighting it. I mean, if that's not a dogfight, I don't know. But he's diving after him. As he climbs, he's also climbing after him again. Which is at that point in Cliffs of Dover. At that point, the plane would stall. There would be no way the wings could bear this pressure. To the, the plane would either stall or the wing would be hardly damaged um, causing the plane to crash that's how we would be in Cliffs of Dover in realistic uh, in, in simulation that's that's just amazing okay uh, yes uh, lost his enemy now it's not dog fighting it anymore Behind him is, uh, as you can see, behind him is a is a f is a is a, is a plane of us, our, of our team. But he's not attacking the B-25 because he's not stupid. He he knows that he has no chance against it, so he's not even trying to attack it. Later on, you will see what happens if you actually try to attack one. It's uh, pretty messy. Uh, actually, that's that. There were bad shots. I'm sorry. I should have shortened it here. But yeah, this, uh, see now, now he is more behaving like a bomber would. He's not flying too crazy. Now, as you can see here, I took damage to the wing, but that's not the problem. The problem is that my engine is going out, and I'm losing speed very, very fast. I'm uh, nearly to the ground, and I can't uh, push up. So, but uh, before I get killed, ah, now you can see a uh, pursuer. Here is a German fighter who is who was trying to hit the enemy, but he was shot by the backseat uh, gunner, and he is now going down into the woods. There you can see explosion. 
and uh, yeah that's it here I scored um, my kill as you can see in the right corner but uh, yeah I took the Russian uh, plane down by heavily damaging it and later on it crashed into the ground so I got the kill because I did now he's smoking the left air engine of it is smoking but that doesn't really matter for that plane as it would as it would be in cliffs of Dover he would now slowly uh, be downed by this damage and he is actually he's he's losing I think he's losing attitude altitude but uh, he will nevertheless make it home easily as you can see now if his friends are even joining all sitting in bombers so the best plane at the moment to dogfight as it might sound ridiculous is actually a bomber because you have the better view you have more guns and you can still dogfight kind of you you will not be as uh, maneuverable as as uh, fighter planes I can't even I don't know. I'm sorry but that's just uh, well thanks thanks for watching I uh, hope uh, maybe they it's still in beta of course everything so maybe they fix it later on but as it is at the moment uh, simulation battles are kind of destroyed by those bomber guys who think it's it's smart to destroy this uh, this realism but uh, yeah thanks for watching and 